Hi, you guys. Happy Hanukkah, happy almost Thanksgiving. This is Dory from Healing Through Food, and I just wanted to invite you into my kitchen for a minute because I am prepping for my impromptu Hanukkah party. That's how I roll. I wake up on the holiday, I'm like, oh, let's have a party, let's invite people over. So I have some friends coming over tonight, and I decided that I would try out the soup that I was gonna make for Thanksgiving, which is a butternut apple honey soup. Um, I'm going to try it out for Hanukkah and see how everyone likes it, and then I can make another vat of it and bring it to Thanksgiving tomorrow. So my um, website actually hosts the, uh, the full recipe, so if you go to www.healingthroughfood.com, you can see a, um, a blog page with all the latest Thanks Living recipes. So I just wanted to show you what I'd be using for this butternut apple honey soup talk about the ingredients a little bit, and of course, just wish you guys a happy holiday. So, shall we? Okay, so the recipe calls for two shallots, and shallots are great. They're kind of like a cross between onions and garlic. Like, awesome, right? If you've never cooked with shallots, um, you, you use them the same way you would chop like onion or, or garlic, and you just mince them, and it adds a really nice flavor, um, kind of combining the two, which is pretty awesome if you're a fan of garlic and onions. Um, it also calls for two organic Granny Smith apples. And apples are definitely one of those fruits that you want to buy organic because they're very heavily sprayed. So I don't buy apples unless they're organic, and neither should you. <laughs> it also calls for it calls for two of my favorite spices. We've got sage and we've got nutmeg. And both I love. I love um, fresh sage, but the recipe calls for dried, so I'm just going to follow the directions and see how that turns out. But I don't know, it probably turned out nice with fresh sage, fresh sage as well. And then we've got our um, organic vegetable broth. So it calls for um, five cups of that. It calls for sea salt, of course. So we've got my fine crystal sea salt. And then of course we've got everyone's favorite, olive oil. There we go, olive oil. Um, and then, the, oh, I forgot my ginger calls for ginger. Ginger is one of my favorite things in the world. It is good for in, uh, for inflammation, for digestion. So if you ever have an upset tummy, you can make fresh ginger tea. It's wonderful. Ginger is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. I love it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it tastes. I love everything about it. And then lastly, it calls for, um, it calls for raw honey. So if you're a vegan that does not consume honey, you can also use uh, grade B, 100% grade B pure maple syrup, or you can use raw agave. All three would work lovely, um, and then you can just use it to taste. And um, I might just actually do the maple syrup because I, I really enjoy the taste of maple syrup. It's rich, it's got antioxidants in it, it's got um, you know, digestive enzymes in it that's really good for you. So I might just switch to use the maple syrup and then it'll be truly a vegan soup. So. Um, if you'd like to check out the recipes, again, it's www.healingthroughfood, H-E-A-L-I-N-G-T-H-R-U-F-O-O-D.com. My name is Dory. I'm a nutrition educator, and I love helping people get healthy. So if you need help planning recipes, losing weight, having more energy, I'm your girl. Call me. You can find my contact information on my website. You can also follow me on Facebook at Healing Through Food. I wish you a blessed holiday, a happy Hanukkah, and a beautiful Thanksgiving, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.